blessings from the outside, you go by me, go by. May God bless him, God is your boy. Africa's great song, son, you put that God go by. Yesterday, I was coming from uh, UPSA direction towards the Ayawa, so uh, the intersection that leads to Lagos yeah. Avenue, violation, correct? And I saw a huge traffic build-up. Then I said, oh, the event must be taking place. I was going to a clinic, and so I took a bypass. And I saw a policeman scrolling his uh, telephone, standing somewhere. I said, ah, what's this? Then I noted that there had been a debate or a discussion that the police said they would not be there. But the policeman was standing far off. as if you are in the cave and there's an e event at uh, Pan-African TV. And it went on and truly that when they interviewed, uh, is it the regional commander? He indicated, or somebody indicated that the police had instructed that nobody should be present. But the organizers, I believe, sought permission oh, yeah. by the public uh, uh, order. order act, exactly. You know, there's one thing that is very worrying. And in one of our previous programs, uh, I indicated that the police service has been very disappointing. And it's a matter of concern for any future government, whether MPP, NDC, or any government. The police service. If you look at the structure of the police service, it's not the police service we used to know mm. with due respect, Buga Bugao. The hierarchy is huge. huge. District commander, regional commander, professionals, highly qualified intellectuals have now dominated the police leadership. So, I don't think these are people who are ignorant of the principles and practices of policing. But what we see it's for me a shame. And I say that with due respect to the hierarchy. And you can see it all over. Let there be a traffic build-up. Those who go against the traffic, not on any operation, is a police vehicle. Going at the other side. So when you see chaos about accidents, etc., the police, they are like super. So why not people get their land cruisers and with the red and green, a red and blue siren, you are in traffic from Kaswa, etc., and everybody chaotic because the police will be there and they will rather um, uh, jump ahead. So with this huge number and with the highly qualified leadership, what we are seeing is a disgrace. Will you blame the president? Given the structure, IGP, regional commander, director general of uh, administration, director general of operations, just look at the bureaucracy and the hierarchy. And that is the counter now for the developing countries. Huge bureaucracy. And nothing comes out of it. So that is the matter that we need to examine. Is the unprofessional policy. And for me, uh, it is a matter that should engage all of us. How we must challenge them to do what they must do. Because the law is there. The Police Service Act is clear what the police must do. They don't need clearance from the, uh, from the what do you call it, the uh, president of the day. There are crimes are committed. When Swale, who has been arrested, it goes back to when the managing director, uh, deputy managing director was killed, Roko, etc. Many! Who has been arrested? But let a policeman be shot somewhere, they can go to Atimpoku and then arrest him. Ninja was killed and buried on the foundation. Within three days, they got him. Yeah. So, what picture do you tell us? Then take it, take the Takradi girls. When the whole CID boss will come and say, Oh, I just said that because I'm a mother. Totally unprofessional. And then life goes on. She's been chained to another position. Honestly, it's disappointing. And I think the IGP, we are appealing to him that you have the men, you have the professional background, inspire confidence in us. But what we are seeing, you'll be blaming governments for nothing, but I don't think it is worth uh, the, what you can call effective policing. And you know, in all this, I keep saying that. The international community is present. You see, and maybe for politeness, but I don't think the impression they are carrying about us is, is correct or is good. And that is for me a matter of great concern. Conduct of the police. Only yesterday confirms all the worries that all of us have. Look, this is the first time in my life, maybe the first time in my history, or the history of the world, 
that a police service has actually issued instructions that security should not be protected. Don't provide security. Now, if you have a police service which is refusing to provide security, what kind of a police service is that? The principal duty of any police service is to provide security. Ghana is the only country in the world where the police says that we will not provide security. If you are not going to provide security, what would you provide? Chaos? Mayhem? <laughs> what is this? Charlie, what is this? Police service, oh, it is not a slip of tongue. This is a wireless message which was crafted and sent to all police institutions that don't go and provide security. Listen, at the event, there were diplomats at the event, there was a former president at the event, there were mothers at the event, there were, there were, there were fathers at the event, there were old people at the event, there were young people at the event and so on. And their security means absolutely nothing to the Ghana police service, what kind of a police service is this? I mean, incredible. But do you know the effect of that wireless message? When the police issues a document which has become public, and it says that there's an event, we will not provide security for that event. It's an invitation for who loves to attack the event. What the police is saying is that, look, you can go there, you can do whatever you like, you can kill, you can beat, you can maim, you can shoot, we don't give a damn. That's what the police said. And I'm scandalized. This is the same attitude which led to the mayhem at Ayawasu West were gone. Because the police failed to do its duty. Because the police deliberately refused to do its duty. And I'm, I'm worried, I'm very deeply worried about this development.